What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So in this video, let's learn how to size pipe. So after learning how to add valves in our last video, so in this exercise, we're going to uh, verify automatically calculated pipe size and flow parameters. So initially, you use the pipe color scheme legend as a color coded reference to view the flow within the pipes and the sizing. So the color-coded uh, display allows you to quickly see uh, differing sizes and flow of piping. And then you use a combination of friction and velocity to size the pipes appropriately. All right, so that is what we are going to do. So the first part of the exercise is uh, we are going to display uh, the pipe color uh, scheme legend. Okay, so as you can see, we are already on the level 3. So I'm going to put the pipe legend. So from the Analyze tab, Color Fill. Okay, you can see there the pipe legend. So I'm going to click this one, and then I'm just going to place it just to this side here. So I'm going to pick. All right, now on the Choose Color Scheme dialog box, so we are going to select uh, Pipe color fill flow okay so that's the setting of the color scheme and then i'll just select here okay so this option displays the pipes in colors based on flow values okay and then as you can see you can compare the legend to the color coding in the drawing to verify that the flows are as expected okay now the next part is we're going to display the color fill based on the pipe size because currently this is based on the flow so let's modify this one so to modify your pipe legend so you just need to click that one and then from the modify pipe color fill legend you can click edit scheme so you just click that one and then in the edit color scheme dialog box so we are going to select here the size here and then you will notice the settings here on the scheme definition side is already changed based on the size size okay so this display will help you size the pipe using friction and velocity sizing methods which we are going to use later on okay so i'm just going to select okay by the way to apply this one so I just click that one and there you go and then i'll just select and modify and then you will notice my pipe here is a bit thick the pipelines Okay, it shows here the line weight so you can just turn on the thin lines like that oh I think that's really the settings of that so we can't do anything about that so that's the color size based on the or uh, the color fill legend based on the size so we can't do anything about that color it is not the line weight why because the thin lines here is already activated so if I turn off the thin lines so it will look like this Okay, because I thought at first it is controlled by the thin lines, but it's not. So it's the color of the color fill legend, okay, or, or the pipe legend. So let's turn on the thin lines. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is um, we're going to size the pipe using friction and velocity uh, method. Okay, so how to do that? So I'm just going to move my cursor over the pipe between the primary and secondary uh, base mounted pumps. So just hover your pointer here. Oh, sorry, this one here. So just hover your pointer, do not click, okay? So just hover your pointer until it highlights and then we're going to press the tab three times. So you can see here the status bar. So you just read this so that the status bar indicates that you have highlighted a branch in a pipe network up to a piece of equipment so that is what we want to see on the status bar here when we press the tab three times so you, you just read this one so take a look I'm going to hover my pointer and then I'm going to press tab three times one two three so there you go so branch in a pipe uh, network up to a piece of equipment so I'm gonna click to select the branch there you go Okay, now to size it, so you can go to the modify multi-select, you can check the analysis here, and then you can click the top, 
pipe sizing so you just click that one so the pipe sizing dialog displays the sizing settings that were uh, last used so it does not report the sizing settings of the selected pipe segment or pipe run okay so just remember that note now on the settings here so the sizing method so i'm going to select here friction and then i'm just going to use here 2.25 so 2.25 FT per 100 uh, feet. Oops. That's what I would like. And then since we also want the velocity, so I'm going to select your end. So just click end. So you now have the velocity. So I'm going to change this to 5 FPS. So under the constraints, so for the branch sizing, so I will just select here. Normally, I select here larger of connector and calculate it. So I click that one. Okay. Then I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch the si uh, restrict size. So I just select here. Okay. There you go. Okay. So let me just undo this and let's see what happens before the. Uh, the sizing. So if I uh, select this pipe here, so we have three inches. So we have three inches after the sizing, and then we have four inches after the sizing. So let's see what it is, what it was before. So I will select undo. Okay, and then I click this one. So as you can see, obviously it's different. So this now is three inches, and then this is two inches. So after we resize this, I'm, go I'm going to select redo. So as you can see now, it's changed to 4 inches here. So the piping increases in diameter based on the friction and velocity values specified. Okay? So important note again, errors may occur while you are attempting to create pipe geometry as a result of converting a layout or during sizing. So the most common cause of these errors, if ever you encounter, is that there is insufficient space to create the pipe or offset elevations are incorrect. So either relocate the system components, select a different layout solution, or manually modify the pipe, which is I which I prefer. So remember to always check pipe connectivity after the modification. Okay, so that's it. So that is how you resize the pipe. Now, the other thing that you can do after you resize the pipe is you can inspect the system. Okay, so let's say, for example, oops, sorry. So let me just reload the architectural model here. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's still open. So I'll just close this last exercise that we have. So we are already clear on how to size the pipe. So the next part is let's try to inspect the system. So I'm now going to close this exercise. Now saving. Because we cannot reload the link model in this uh, file that we are going to use if the previous model was still open. So that's why I close it. So I can reload the link that we are using. I select the link model, open. Okay, so other than uh, sizing pipe, you can also inspect the system. So in this exercise, we're going to use the system inspector to inspect the level 3 hydronic piping system. So the system inspector lets you inspect each piping system for flow, pressure, and pressure loss by placing the cursor over a pipe or mechanical equipment that you assign to the system. So using the system inspector, you can easily detect problem areas in your uh, in your design and resolve them immediately. Okay, so how to inspect the system? So let me just open first the 3D view, 3D HVAC building. So let me just open that. And here's now our uh, model. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let me just zoom in to this part here okay so we are going to select the section of the return piping uh, between the two source at uh, the two water source heat pumps on the upper level which is uh, just this one 
I'm going to select uh, this section of pipe okay and then let's see the analysis panel here so on the modify pipes analysis panel so this is what I'm talking about so system inspector so it displays flow information for the piping or ductwork in a selected system okay so let me just select this one okay and then after that let us uh, inspect so let's click that inspect and then you will notice that arrow display on the pipe indicating the flow direction for both the main and the branches in the system uh, pipe okay so the the critical flow here if you're going to hover your pointer so the critical flow indicated by the red arrows okay so that is your critical flow the red arrows there that you are seeing on the pipe is the main line going to the boiler okay you can see that right and then you can place the cursor over the same section of, of the return pipe just over your pointer like that and then an inspector or inspection flag that's what I call it that's a inspection flag reports the section number the flow the pressure information including the pressure loss so this information helps you modify the system design as required okay so to use the system inspector to inspect flow and pressure inside the pipe the selected system components and pipe must be logically and physically connected okay so the pipe and the system components must be connected to a system or log logical connection and a system must contain pipe which is the physical connection for you to be able to properly use the system inspector okay so as you can see that's the that's the inspection plug and then again that red arrow that you are seeing there so that arrow display on the pipe indicating the flow direction for both the main and the branches in the pipe system okay and the critical flow is indicated by red red arrow okay is in the main line going to your boiler right so that's the arrow indicating the flow direction for both the main and the branches to the pipe system there you go so there's the arrow and then there's the critical uh, flow indicated by the red arrow is in our main line going to the boiler here okay right okay so that's how you do the system inspect all right so another thing that you can do aside from um, sizing the pipe inspecting the system is that you can check the pipe uh, pipe system so that's the one that you can do all right so if there is if you think there is a problem with the connection of your pipe system okay you can just go to the analyze and then you can just check pipe systems so you can just click that one so what does it do okay so check pipe systems it verifies all pipe systems for properly connected pipes and valid system assignments so invalid pipe systems are shown with warning markers so you can click the warning markers to show warning messages so in some instances there may be additional warnings that will appear after the initial warning has been eliminated so in our case since we already connected all the pipes properly there is no warning that pop up okay and then you can also use the system browser to confirm piping system assignment so you can right click at the blank space and then you can select the browser and then you can select the system browser okay so here on the system browser there are things that you can do here okay so you can so it's already by system here and then column settings that's the one that we have used last time so you can expand the, the piping here 
okay and then you can click for you to be able to see it from your view so we have the chilled water supply okay so this is a properly connected uh, system okay so as you can see all the water source heat pump is connected to the boiler here and then we have created a separate uh, system which is the chilled water return and chilled water supply okay so that is the reason why there is no warning that appears after we select the check pipe systems okay so in my project browser let me just explore some more so let me open the level 1 HVAC plan design okay and then going back to the system browser so I'm going to expand so let's see the hydronic supply this one so I had the hydronic supply here so chilled water uh, supply okay so as you can see they are all under the the boiler 500 mph so that's the system and then these are the equipments and then as you can see as we click from here it also highlights on our view there so this is another way of checking if your elements is properly connected to the to the system so another thing that you can do is you can click the system here you can right click that all right and then you can select show if you want you can click show you have other options here select all members okay so as you can see the members on the chilled water uh, supply is highlighting the elements that we have here on chilled water return and also some of the elements that is not yet assigned to the system okay so another thing that you can do is you can right click again and then um, you can select show you can click that okay so click the show button multiple times for different views so you can click show and then it will go to a different views like that okay so you can explore this one right right so basically that's it so those are some of the things that you can do with your uh, pipe system after you create it so you can size the pipe you can inspect the system and then you can check the piping systems if they are all properly connected all right so on our next video we are done with the mechanical system so we are now going to move on electrical system so hopefully this series of videos have been helpful to you guys thank you for watching have a nice day